Okay guys, so if you uh, watched my ox beam light video, you got a sneak peek at the doors that are partially installed on the Ranger 6x6. Uh, like I said before, these are uh, the 900, players used to call it the Pro Fit Cab, the, the doors with the, the power windows. These are the same doors I had on my 16 uh, Ranger 900, that blue one. They are, they're, they're a poly door, they're plastic. Uh, they have a glass window and they have power, power windows. There's two switches. One switch operates the, the driver's side and the other switch operates the, the passenger side. But anyway, they are not designed to go on one of these older Rangers. So I'm pretty much having to uh, install these myself. Uh, pretty much make everything. And uh, you can see there I have the driver's side um, installed. This is really the first step in the process is I set it up there. I get it where I want it. And then I have to make my own, my hinges, the deals that go to the, the actual Ranger. I had to make these. Uh, they, can't, they come with ones that bolt on to a 900 frame. Uh, those ain't gonna work. Uh, my idea here is to keep these doors intact so they can be bolted on to a 900. So I don't want to wreck anything, I don't want to wreck the brackets, or I don't want to mess with the hinges or anything. I want this to be able to be uh, taken off this Ranger and back on a 900. These doors aren't cheap guys, they're like 2800 bucks after tax. Uh, so I want to be able to get my money, or most of my money back out of them if something would happen, or I would change something, or... I don't plan to, like I said, I plan on this being my last Ranger. So this is kind of why I'm, I'm doing all the work to this. I mean, this is not a simple thing to, to mount these doors on this older Ranger. Uh, you can see it really doesn't fit that opening. They weren't designed to do that. I'm going to have to make a spacer panel right here. I'm going to have to rework this bottom panel here. And... I'm having to make a panel right here, a filler panel. Um, I was able to angle the door. I don't know if you noticed it in the video, but I was able to angle the door to match the roll bar line. I know it's the door is crooked. I don't know if it matters really. I think it's going to be fine. I'd rather the profile match that than have this door tilted straight and then have to have this funny deal right here. I thought it would be more, more visually pleasing to have that lined up than the door be perfectly straight. But that's my idea. This is what I'm going with. I've actually got the other side farther along than this side. You can see I've got the, the filler panel made right here. And the idea is I'm trying to do this in pretty much one piece, which is not easy. Uh, using the, the bender and the shear, it's making this job a lot easier, but it's still not an easy job. But this is what I came up with to kind of fill in this area. Uh, I'm going to be getting some... I've ordered some rubber seals and stuff to go in areas that I can't really seal up. You know, I can't really put the metal on top of the plastic. That ain't going to work. 
uh, that'll probably cause a noise and it'll just scratch it up and whatever but um, all this is designed again this panel can just unbolt off of this Ranger so it's gonna be easier to, to paint this and if something would happen I could uh, fix it a little easier I don't plan on that happening but anyway the, the tough thing is is getting the that 900 round profile right there to you know meet up with this older Ranger deal I think I did a pretty good job here of uh, kind of filling this in um, you see there's the door striker right here and it's not too intrusive I don't think um, this is actually the other side if you put this on a 900 I got this flipped upside down so this is actually the driver's side the other one is the passenger side striker but anyway I did it I just took a heavy piece of steel welded it to the roll cage same with the the hinges it, it's pretty stout guys it's fitting pretty good I might have too much of an angle here I might have to relieve that and push that in a little bit But like I said, I think I did a pretty good job of filling that in. Okay, so getting the start on these filler panels for the Ranger. You see him in the old shed getting ready to shear a piece. Now I actually got a 4x8 sheet of 16 gauge steel here. Uh, I've got the backstop set at around nine and a half inches. This backstop is really nice for kind of making stuff. You just slide it in until you hit it. Um, hit the button, it shears it for you. Uh, it's not critical right now for measurements. I just need enough extra to work with. Um, once I get this sheared, we're going to head over to the bender and add a little lip to this thing. Then we'll have to take it back to the machine and kind of get it fitted uh, before we can do anything else. Then we'll come back here and do some more work. But uh, we'll fire this thing up. Uh, we'll get this thing sheared. I'm gonna do a 90.
So there's my piece. I'm going to start with. Got a 90 in it. Actually, there's a there's a gauge right here. I went, I don't know, 94 degrees or something. And it automatically stops. It's got a micro switch there. And you got to go past 90 because this, this thinner stuff seems to spring back more than the thicker stuff. And this is 16 gauge, so pretty awesome guys this this equipment pretty endless on what uh, someone could make with this stuff but anyway I get back to the shop start fitting this one so here's my first attempt at this panel and I did a pretty good job on it this is it's bolts onto the bottom there where that plastic piece bolts onto and I've got my relief cut here. This is where I kind of made the bend. I've got a notch here to clearance for the door striker. And then I got another notch here to clear the roll bar where it sits up against. And like I said, I did a pretty good job on this. This is my first attempt. The problem is I didn't leave myself enough material on this to be able to work the rest of it. I had a kind of a different idea. I was going to do it in sections. But after I got this on there, I was able to kind of think about it. And I was able to, to make a wider piece. And leave me enough room to actually do some bends to go around the, my roll bars and stuff like that. To give it a more, uh, you know, one piece look. And actually I did do it in one piece. There was a little bit of uh, adding I had to do right here because I cut too much off, actually it was over here. A little too much, uh, I cut off on the one side, had to add a little piece, but other than that, I did it in pretty much one piece, which, which is kind of nice. Okay, so after all the, the bending, measuring, grinding, fitting and refitting, welding, uh, this is what I come up with. This is the driver's side um, panel. You can see it's got the shape of the door. And it is pretty much uh, one piece, uh, except for here where I had to add where the, the door striker goes here. I added that because it was flexing right here it, on the other door. I don't, this door didn't seem to do that, but I, I added it anyway. And then I had to add this piece right here that wraps around the roll bar and actually uh, bolts on. There's two mounting points right here and here. And then the only, only other mounting point is here. But it's pretty solid, guys. This is a um, it's 16 gauge, which isn't that heavy. But with all these bends in it, uh, makes for a very strong piece. So I'm gonna bolt this in. I ain't completely done. I got to do a little finishing before I, I get to paint it. But um, I'm gonna bolt this on for the, the final time of, of actually building it, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. 
So there it is installed. All bolted on. Actually got this one a little better than the other side. As far as this, I think I'll probably got to trim that back a little bit. Because like I said, I'm getting some uh, some rubber seals to go on that. And right now I think it's too tight to actually seal with it. But we'll see, I'll get that link tomorrow. But, I think it turns out pretty good guys. I believe I got a nice tight seal. I think I might have to adjust this striker because I think it's too tight. But the thing is when I did all this, I welded everything on, I've got all my adjustments set to the, the center. The, the center of, of the adjustment so I can go either way if I needed to go that way. So I can bring the striker um, out a little bit if I need to. Also I got adjustment in this whole bracket. So if I need to do some tweaks I can. Okay so here's an interior shot. Got to do a little bit of cleaning up on here but um, this is what it looks like. So pretty clean look. Uh, the way I got it set up over there too. And once I get it all painted and stuff, I think it'll all blend in pretty good with uh, the roll bar and everything. So there's only three bolts that uh, take these off and it's separate. Uh, another thing is I'm going to have to take this thing off if I ever want to take this bottom plastic piece off. So having three bolts and it unbolts is a good thing. I was going to weld it on, but decided against that. So I guess I'm going to get this video out. It's, it's probably gotten fairly long. I know most people don't like long videos. Some people do, but most don't. So I'm going to get this video out to you guys. I'm going to do some testing with what I got right now. I know I gotta finish the bottom of the doors and the back of the doors and a little bit on the roof there. Um, I gotta do some finishing there, but I'm gonna go out and test this. I wanna test these front panels, see how they're working, how everything's sounding and everything. Uh, I, I do have metal to metal contact on everything. I don't have gaskets on all the stuff. Uh, all the metal to metal contact will be eliminated because I have gaskets coming. So it might be a little squeaky, but um, as long as it don't rattle too bad, uh, it, I'll be happy with it. But I guess, guys, um, it'll do it for this one. I'll see you.